أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عيد مبارك كل عام وأنتم بخير الحمد لله we have completed the month of Ramadan we completed 30 days of fasting which is a great accomplishment uh, but something we should always be mindful of is that if it was not for the tawfiq and the assistance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we would not be able to do so as Imam al-Shafi'i says subhana alladhi la yu'adda shukru ni'matin min ni'amihi illa bi ni'matin minhu all praise or pure of all impurities pure from all impurities is the one who one a person cannot show gratitude for any of his favors except by another favor of his for example we fasted the month of Ramadan every day we uh, refrain from eating and drinking from sunrise to sunset and this act of worship if it was not by the assistance and the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, it would not be possible um, meaning if Allah Azzawajal had not given us the bodily strength and the rizq that he has given us um, and the spiritual strength uh, to complete uh, the uh, the 30 days of fasting we would not be able to uh, to do so so in essence we we fasted we worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through by using another bounty another favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, which is something that makes us realize we, we can never get out of this loop uh, of being indebted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can never be escape being indebted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all we can do is ask Allah Azza wa for forgiveness uh, and his mercy and that that he forgives us for our shortcomings for the fact that we cannot uh, fulfill um, uh, uh, fulfill um, his uh, his rights upon us. Now, as many of us have already started feeling this, we uh, there is a feeling of void after the month of Ramadan. There is no doubt that the month of Ramadan is giving a very special status in the religion of Islam. Allah Azza wa Jalla has chosen the month of Ramadan uh, is the chosen month of the year. Um, and it is a month that uh, is full of blessings for the events that took place in the month of Ramadan. Uh, so uh, no one can downplay that. No one can say, uh, deny that aspect of the month of Ramadan. But one of the things that we should uh, realize is that the month of Ramadan, the main purpose of the month of Ramadan was taqwa, to attain God consciousness, to uh, become mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is a purpose that can be um, attained uh, in the other months as well, right? We can uh, make sure that the other months of the year are also uh, a means for us to become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become God conscious. The only difference is that in the month of Ramadan, those acts of worship that draw us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are mandatory, and in the other months, those acts of worship are voluntary. Uh, and acts of uh, the voluntary acts of acts of worship are perhaps as important um, as a mandatory acts of worship because they are the acts of worship that will earn us the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, or Allah Azza wa Jal, yes he, he says in a hadith Qudsi that uh, uh, that uh, he says um, that um, there is nothing more beloved to me uh, or my servant does not use anything to get closer to me, to, to get close to me more beloved to me that the mandatory uh, acts of worship that I have uh, prescribed upon him and my servant will not draw closer to me will not get closer to me um, will not stop uh, getting closer to me uh, uh, by continuously performing acts of voluntary acts of worship until um, I love him and when Allah Azza wa loves a servant uh, the, uh, the 
positive uh, consequences of, of that are many. And in this uh, hadith, some of them were mentioned. As, for example, Allah Azza wa Jal will become a complete guide for that person. So we have only uh, completed uh, half of the journey. We have completed uh, the mandatory part of the journey. Now the next, the second half of the journey we're in which through which we become closer to Allah Azza wa Jal until we, re we attain His love. That second half of the journey is still here. For the next 11 months, that is the second half of the, of the journey where we perform voluntary acts of worship. And in essence, everything every single uh, month of the year um, not and not just months every single creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, for a believer is a means to draw closer to allah subhanahu closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is an excuse for us to draw closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who loves will use everything as an excuse to get closer to the beloved that is one of the uh, uh, sunan of, of, of love. And um, as believers who, inshallah, love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must use everything as an excuse to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The month of Ramadan, yes, but every other month as well should, be, should, be, uh, should become a means, an instrument for us to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because in essence, nothing has inherent meaning if it was not for the meaning that Allah Azza wa Jalla has given it, um, meaning for the one who loves, uh, nothing has a meaning of its own um, uh, if it cannot be used to get to be uh, to become to get close uh, to all, to the beloved, um, and this is one of the um, uh, very uh, profound aspects of a of a, of a religion. Where, um, where Allah Azza wa Jal Himself mentions to us in the Quran that in essence everything in the creation is a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is a sign uh, through which we draw close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal says, Sanurihim ayatina fil athaqi wa fi anfusim hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al haqqa alam yakfi bi rabbika annahu ala kulli shayin qadir. He says, I will, We will show them our signs in the horizon and in themselves until it becomes clear to them that. It is the truth, meaning the Quran, the religion of Islam, the Prophet, uh, every, the message of the Prophet is the truth. Allah Azza wa Jal is the truth, is the ultimate truth. Um, so, meaning everything that we see around us in the horizon, every creation of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and us ourselves, we are um, a means through which we get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, through which we um, we. Uh, we become familiar with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Azza wa Jal. This is what we call ma'rifah. Uh, and um, Allah Azza wa Jal concludes this verse by saying, Does their Lord not suffice? And this takes us to uh, something that Imam Al Ghazali said, and we read it in Ahya. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, say Allah and then let them. Uh, uh, amuse themselves in their vain discourse, right? Um, so, meaning for a believer, everything that we're concerned about is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and everything else that is not, that is not related to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, or that does not draw us closer to the, to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, is a vain discourse. We stay away from it. From it. Uh, so, is their Lord not? Does their their Lord not suffice? Does the fact that their Lord is present everywhere? Uh, not suffice. He is shaheed. He he is a witness to everything. And uh, we also know that Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام. Everything in the universe will perish, and what will remain is your Lord, is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the possessor of generosity and majesty. The possessor of majesty and generosity. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Azza Amma Yasifun, Wasalaman Alal Mursaleen, Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.